Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have a mini album to share with you that I just finished. It's using the Kane Company Susan Wingett papers. And um, I it's originally it was I cut the chipboard to six by six, but then I used several of the on the edge dies throughout the album, so it's you know it varies now, but um, it's six inches long and I use a lot of the lace and uh, quite a few of the flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts um, that I purchased previous and then uh, throughout the album I use some that they just sent me you know as a gift so um, I on the frame here I just cut it from chipboard and glimmer misted it and I think it was moonlight or something moon shadow or something and then um, I used iridescent gold and then I embossed it using the iridescent embossing powder uh, this is a vellum insert here behind the acetate uh, I like to use vellum because you can still see the pattern paper coming through so uh, I think it just adds a nice soft effect and the word family came from this dollar stamp and then the foliage came from or the leaves branches came from this one and those I think came from Michaels uh, just added a prima flower there with some feathers a little cameo stick pen and just uh, some prima pearls uh, and I love these little clay roses. I think they're so pretty. Um, just added those throughout. And then I glimmer misted this um, lace from Wild Orchid Crafts in wheat fields. So I think that's about it for the first page. Then I just used my binding technique. And then I also used my hinge binding. So if you wanted to know how to do that, let me back out a little bit. Um, I have a tutorial here on my YouTube channel. Uh, this page I added just a pocket. I cut using a Martha Stewart punch and this is a, the Sizzix Jumbo Tag Die. added a little loopy brad so I could add a charm and then um, just photos and journaling spot in there. And this is the first time that I have used a lot of the uh, sticker elements from a paper collection. Uh, but I use a lot. I, um, I've never, I don't think, purchased as much as I have for any paper line as I did this one. Uh, I have the epoxy stickers and chipboard stickers, regular word stickers, and uh, 3D stickers. So just about the whole thing uh, sticker-wise. And the papers, matter of fact, I use the specialty papers, which some of them are glittered and foiled and really pretty. Uh, and then also the regular 12 by 12 pad. So I love this dragonfly here. I think it's so pretty. And then just some embossing on the back. And then I edged everything with the gold dabber from, you know, the Adirondack dabber. So this is such pretty papers. I really love it. I love this blue. Uh, tore a pocket here using the pattern paper with some, uh, you can see the butterflies have some foiling. I think that's what it's called. So in, in the pocket I've added just a couple of tags. Again, the jumbo tag die from Sizzix and just tore another um, pocket here and then cut this out from the pattern paper and in the pocket I have a little tag that opens you know just like this pretty much just for journaling just for little notes or something I you could add tiny pictures there but you know whatever she wants to do for it uh, this is actually a Christmas gift for someone I kept it pretty simple I, they don't scrapbook so I didn't want it to be overwhelming. They don't scrap it yet, I should say. Uh, I have my hopes, so I'm working on it. Um, but uh, so this just opens like this, and then some journaling. Uh, these are Prima journaling stamps, and then just an epoxy sticker on these. So, and then the other tag just has a chipboard uh, dragonfly on it. I love these. And then I left it where you know something can be er inserted underneath. And then I got this tag idea. You know, using the on the edge dies from Belinda. Uh, I think it's A Y E R S here on YouTube, and so she had, she um, just recently posted a mini album. I just thought it was gorgeous, and I love how she uh, thought out of the box with these uh, the edge dies. And then just did some embossing on the back here, and chipboard sticker, epoxy sticker, and just some Prima Bling three dimensional sticker. Again, really pretty pattern paper. You can add a photo here. And this page, uh, these are from Wild Orchid Crafts, and um, so I really appreciated them sending those to me. I think they're cherry blossoms. Um, chipboard element, I've just attached here at the tip and then on the branches so I could 
tuck this photo uh, spot here, this tag, and then this is like a little stopper, the little bumblebee. So cute. I love little bumblebees anyway. Um, chipboard sticker here at the top, and then again some more photo um, journaling spot. And then I just stamped here with some with a vine stamp from I uh, Break for Stamps, and then use some Perfect Pearls on that. So and then that just tucks in behind the little skeleton leaf and rests there. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then this also is removable, so you can add a photo here and then on here. These cute little bumblebees again. They're so cute. They're so dimensional. And they have little wire, copper wire for the little feet and the antenna. So and then just journaling on the back. And then it slips in here. And this was just way beyond gorgeous. I don't know, I'm sure it's not picking it up, but it's this paper is it looks very shimmery. I don't know, it's from the specialty paper pack, so super pretty. But a really good size photo can go there, and just little elements there, sticker, flower, um, again here. I debated on what to do with this page, but because of the uh, edging that I did, I just wanted to have a good photo spot right here. And again, keeping it basic because um, I didn't want it to be overwhelming for them. Uh, happy story on this page. Just did some emboss, um, uh, embossing on here, but using the faux metal technique, and then a photo can be stuck in behind the acetate. Prima lace, I carried throughout both pages. And then this is just a jumbo Sizzix uh, scallop circle. Chipboard sticker, some more flowers, and then this little tag comes out and added a sticker there. Remember the time. Cute little acorn popped up on double layers of dimensional. And then a little journaling on the back. Prima pearls. Aren't these clay flower or clay roses so pretty? I just really love these. These are my favorite of the Prima Bling. And here's some more lace from uh, from Wild Orchid Crafts. I've glimmer misted that. I think it was in wheat field. Added a three-dimensional sticker to match the booklet cover. And just added some um, little beads from my stash. This cute little chipboard sticker. Can't help but think of. Um, uh, I think it's Arlene, is it? Uh, whenever I see that. So, and then just here's the Velcro closure on there. And just a lot of space in here. This measures 5 by 5, so quite a few photos can go in here. And again, just closes up and tucks back in there. And yes, here's my slider I always have to add. Um, I added some of the three-dimensional stickers, and I love how they have the little piece of bling, and then this one has the wire for the bumblebee. Uh, you can add a good size photo in here, and here's how the slider works, and I do have a tutorial for this on my YouTube channel. So I'm doing this backwards, one-handed here. Let me see. So it slides really smooth, but of course on the video here it's not going to for me. There. And this tucks out or pulls out here. Three dimensional sticker. Super pretty papers. Cherish the moment is the sticker down there. And then just uh, this is actually some of the packaging um, on my tag. So they're quite thick. They're like cardboard uh, lined. But the packaging from the stickers. And that's what that is. And then sticker here. Laugh out loud and live, love, laugh. It goes in here. And then just the back page here. Really pretty butterflies again. So that is the beginning of my Christmas preparations. And got to start early if you're making quite a few things. So I didn't want to be overwhelmed at the last minute. I like to get things done quite early. And that way I can just enjoy the holidays myself and enjoy the family and not feel the pressure. So, I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some. There always is. But um, this is one that I was really happy to finish. And it only took a couple days. I think I finished. I started it last Friday, and then we were away for the weekend again. <laughs> and then um, I just picked it back up and worked on it a little bit throughout the day today, you know, a couple minutes at a time as I had time. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.